we're back in the back collection room again. Um, I'm your host today, Amber Dubois Shepherd, Manager of Education and Outreach at the Maybe Gare Museum of Art. So today we have a really neat piece here. Um, we're going to be looking at a Chinese um, sword and we'll kind of give you some more information. We had some help from Henry, who is the director at the Museum of the Red River um, down, in, down in Idabel, Oklahoma. So he kind of helped us figure out some more interesting things about um, this weapon here. So let's take a closer look. So let's take an overview of this sword. It's a very nice piece. It's wrapped here. It's kind of like an orangey texture. Um, our curator of collections, Delane and I were looking at this, thinking it, it may be the original wrap um, just because of um, how old it looks. And we also have some symbols here as well. If they're kind of hard to see, kind of look up. Yeah, we have the bottom one here. And there's a second, a third, and a fourth. So according to Henry, these symbols look like stylized boat images reminiscent to bird calligraphy um, in our from earlier periods. Um, and this may symbolize that it could have been used aboard a ship um, because they had pirates that would come in. Um, so as he said, not usual for peasant pirates. So it kind of been a higher up looking sword. Um, we did find out, he also found out for us that this could be a stylized sword for Zan Mondao, um, a type, this is the style of sword. Um, in Chinese military history and their um, sword history, there's like two different styles of sword. Um, the Jian, which is a straight sword. This one is a Diao. So from there's different type, types of Diaos. There's the Chain Diao, the Do Dao, um, the Zan Man Dao, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and this is a single edge. So only this side right here is the sharp edge. Now, when the original info was given for the sword, um, it was considered a Chinese beheading sword. Um, and because of that, we were thinking maybe, okay, it may have been used in beheadings, but what we actually, from what Henry has told us, that that could have been a reference to the original name of a different sword, the Zan Manjian, which is a straight edge sword and supposedly strong enough to cut through a horse or to cut the head of a horse off. Um, this one's the Zan Man Dao, um, which may have been confused since they both have the beginning of Zan Ma um, and just the changing of the ending. Um, but this one would kind of be translated to um, attacking or attack horse knife. Dao meaning knife, um, Dijian meaning sword. So this one's the Zan Man Dao. Um, one, the swords here probably would have been used, any of the Dao swords or the Diao swords would have been used by foot soldiers. Um, and they were great apparently against um, riders on horseback because you could really take it out. One thing I was watching earlier, um, if you'd like to see the style of sword made, you can watch Forged in Fire or Man at Arms. They make replica swords of the Diao swords and they're really interesting. Um, but pretty much you would hold this like with two hands. Um, it was pretty, it was help, it would help you if your enemy's coming towards you and you could swing it. Um, so that's what this sword was used for. A lot of military, Chinese military and armies would use this sword for their foot soldiers. Now I am going to turn this. We have another character on the back that we can look at closely. This one's a little easier to see. So we have this one here. And according to our source, Henry, this possibly is a leaf or leaves, um, kind of like um, falling leaves or whatnot, but leaf. Um, we're not quite sure if it is e. like the creator. The symbol is E. Oh, is it E? e. Yeah. 
So leaf, E is in leaf. And so, U is often a name. Yes, so it looks like from Henry um, that this could be the name of maybe the maker of some sort, um, the creator of the sword. Now, in my research, I did read that sometimes if you were to take all of this off, this whole section off, and where the actual, before the hilt is put on, um, there could be characters up underneath here that we may never see because we don't want to take it apart. Um, but there is that, um, that possibility. But it's a very nice sword. Whether it was used, we believe it was because there are certain notches in the sword where you can see where it's chipped out, um, where it's been used on something. So those are just some information. If you know more about Dial swords, um, let us know. Um, if there's something that you think you can add, definitely shoot us a comment. We'd love, we love to know more about what we have in our own collection. So feel free to help us out with that. So I'd like to thank Henry um, for helping us out as well today. So we really enjoy um, learning about more about this weapon. So, and we learned more about um, Chinese uh, characters and learning about. So this possibly could be a Zan Mom Dao, but it's a Dao sword. So, all right. Thanks everyone. Thank you.